everyone, and welcome to CVHP News. I'm Sonora Scott. It's Monday, May 25th, which is Memorial Day. As of yesterday, May 24th, there are 90 positive cases of COVID-19 in Tom Green County. The city announced over the weekend that starting now, results will not be posted on the weekends unless there is a positive case. As of right now, there are three active cases of COVID-19. The rest have been released by doctors. While some are still reeling from that hell storm that swept through last weekend, if you don't know what to do next, here's some advice from an insurance agent. A lot of people just don't know where to start. And, and what I always tell them, let's get the claim started if you know you need a claim. Um, secondly, you probably want to contact and get your name on a list of where you want to get it repaired because it's not going to happen right away. We have a lot of auto and, and roofs that we're worried about right now and, and maybe some siding of homes and things like that. But, uh, first thing I would do is, is collect all the information you can, pictures and whatnot, and uh, if you have an agent, call them directly. Call them first. If you are questioning your roof or something, you might want to call a roofer. Uh, I'm sure everyone's busy and up to their eyeballs and, and stuff, but you know if they can get over there and kind of give you an estimate on that. If you have any questions on your roof, obviously you can probably see uh, dents on your hoods and, and the car damage right away. Um, make sure you think about your deductible and try to get a reputable person to fix your car or roof. Um, there might be some fly-by-night people coming in. I don't usually trust them, but uh, try to stay local and someone that will be here after it's all said and done. Good advice there. The United Way of the Contra Valley is working to help bring some relief to people still coping with business losses during the pandemic. Our Amanda Lozano has the details. The United Way of the Concho Valley has received over $80,000 in government funding to ease the burden on local health and human service agencies providing emergency food and shelter. So this can go towards buying hotel rooms and motel rooms for individuals. Um, it can also go to our food bank, the Concho Valley Regional Food Bank. And it can go to food pantries and other feeding organizations such as Neighbors Cafe or Soup Kitchens. And it can also go to supplies and equipment for these agencies that are serving these individuals this time. The United Way's Aspen Robert says the money is being distributed by FEMA in two phases. The first is based on the rate of unemployment and poverty in the Concho Valley. The next will be to ease the burden COVID-19 has placed on these agencies. Robert says agencies seeking funding for things such as rent, utility and food should submit an application to the United Way by May 28th. That's kind of short notice, but just because the flexibility of these funds, we want to make sure we can get these into people's hands as soon as possible. Over the past two months, the United Way has donated funds to the San Angelo Area Foundation, provided gift cards for furloughed medical workers, helped create blessing boxes for the community, and served as a hub for people looking for help. As many agencies have reached out, and it's very needed in this community, obviously, um, just by the situations that we're going through. For News nice Connection, I'm Amanda Lozano. Thanks, Amanda, and thank you all for joining me for CVHP News. Don't forget to follow us on social media and download our free app. All you have to do is search Contra Valley homepage in your app store. Now, in honor of Memorial Day, we'll leave you with this video courtesy of the Department of Defense. As we celebrate Memorial Day, our solemn day to memorialize America's fallen heroes, we recognize the additional personal meaning to many this year. The inability to hug loved ones or share in the camaraderie of others is not lost on any of us. As we persist together through this hardship, know that the spirit of patriotism, sacrifice, and courage of the fallen service members we honor today remain alive and well and the men and women currently serving you and your family. On behalf of everyone at Travis Air Force Base, we send you our best during this trying time. We stand here ready, able, and willing to serve and look forward to when we can see you again.